guest is an award-winning journalist and podcast host. Her memoir, Burn Book, A Tech Love Story, is available now. Please welcome to the show, Kara Swisher. You're here. Taking off my glasses for you. Look at that. I usually try to avoid intimacy, but you. But you and I are already have a great level of intimacy, right. so we want to now share it with everyone that else. That is true. Um, we, you've been covering tech for a long time, but we actually years. dug up your first article I saw for her. the Georgetown Hoya. Uh, that was the name of the Georgetown newspaper. And mm -hmm. just to show how much tech has changed. Yeah. This is the phone company was cracking down on cheaters. This is on pay phones. Pay phones. You wrote a, a pay phone article. I did. <laughs> we had pay phones. And in fact, years later, I was walking in Los Angeles. I have a lot of kids, but two of my older kids. Um, we were walking in Los Angeles and their kids, and they said, what's that? And I said, it's a pay phone. And they said, what's it for? And I go, well, you went up to it and called people, and then you put a dime in it. And I was trying to explain it to them. My youngest said, said that's filthy. <laughs> and I was like, it was filthy. <laughs> yeah, it was very hard to say. Yes. No, you don't understand. It's yeah. more like, yeah, yeah. no, you've yeah. absolutely nailed Cell it. Cell phone better, yeah, yeah. It was also about a, a scam, yeah. like people scamming the scamming. phone company. And yeah. uh, obviously tech is always gonna find new scams. Yeah, oh, and this one. And here's one, and it's AI based. Your book comes out, yeah. it's a bestseller. Yeah. And when this happens with bestsellers, immediately AI starts writing versions of your book. Well, Artificial General Intelligence, the latest version of AI. Okay, yeah. the latest. And basically, they make fake covers and write fake books in the hopes that people will be confused and buy that, that on Amazon. That is correct. That is correct. Of yours. And these are some of the covers of, uh, yeah. and I mean, kind of impressive. That is the version of me my mother would like. That yeah. Would be. Yeah, what do you think this lady's it's doing? It's porny. It's por they're all yeah. porny. Yeah, this lady fashion. is like, She's definitely. And it also says text Queen Bee with a sting, which I'm like, okay. This one is like, I don't like her. <laughs> <laughs> she became Silicon Valley's most influential journalist. That's not even interesting. And then this one, I feel like maybe someone spilled coffee on their computer. Because <laughs> <laughs> that one's like, not, that one's not even yeah. in the ballpark. Yeah, unraveling the life and legacy of an I can't, okay. Yeah. Uh, that one have... I look like Carrie Fisher. Uh, yeah, a little bit of Carrie Fisher. So this is um, AI. You've covered so many tech shifts, and yeah. AI is the one we're living through now. Right. How do you feel it's different than the previous tech shifts you've covered, or is it too early to tell? No, it's big. It's really big. It's like the internet coming. You know, there's several tech shifts. Each tech includes lots of things, like, you know, to cars, carriages, the wheel, things you recall that. Um, and, um, I, you know, and, and to my, I will, yeah. full disclosure, I didn't think it would work. Yeah, I thought so. Yeah. When I first saw it, I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> I really like triangles. Good luck on hills. Yeah, yeah. Right. <laughs> Squares is yeah, the way squares, I'm going. Yeah. Um, but, uh, but it's a big one. I mean, there's, there's been medium ones. The internet itself coming, becoming commercialized was a huge one. And that was, it was invented in 1962, but it really came into fore in the 1990s, really, with AOL and some others. I wrote a book on AOL, actually, long ago. Um, but it really, there's been shifts. And I think mobile was another one, cell phones, really, and but the iPhone, really, in 2007. Social media was one, but it, this one's a big one. Tech is obviously this huge industry. It does seem as though, unlike other huge industries of the past, there isn't a great deal of regulation. Why do you think our government is so slow to regulate tech, or are they just not interested? Well, when you say a great, not a great deal, there's none. Right, so that none. would be, yeah. Yeah. So I guess that's another way to say it, Trisha. Yeah, none. Yeah. <laughs> Um, there hasn't been any regulation and the regulation that exists, they, they, you know, they can't murder people. They, they're under regular, you know, yeah. things that the rest of us are on. Um, although some people think they are murdering people, but um, they, they, can, they can do anything. There's no antitrust legislation. There's no privacy legislation in this country. There's no algorithmic transparency. It goes on and on. It's as if we had cigarette companies that could do whatever they want, which they did for a long time before you know, before we found out what they were up to, and then they put labels on them, they got fined, people went to jail, things like that. These people never had a rule on them, and they're the richest people in the history of the world running the companies that are the most powerful and, and most valuable in the world. And do you think that Congress is afraid of their power, not financially, but their power in messaging? I just think they came at a time when 
we can't do any legislation. I can't agree on lunch at Congress, right? They're yeah. not gonna, this is an industry. Can you imagine if Standard Oil was around with this Congress? They get to run everything, and they did for a long time. It's just that people intervened, whether it was breaking up AT&T or whatever. With this group of people, they have enormous wealth, and, and I don't think the government's up to the task at this point. Uh, Donald Trump recently, so first Joe Biden said he would sign a bill banning TikTok. He would. And uh, Donald He's Trump. He's always done that. He's always said that. And Donald Trump had also said, uh, and has sort of come out against TikTok, but now he, he seems like he's doing a 180. He, he had an executive order about it. It was a cloddish executive order, and the reason it didn't pass at the time is because it was so bad the way he did it. But directionally, he was correct. I never agree with him on anything, but that was correct what he was doing. And yet now he's pulled a 180. Do you think it's because yes. Biden has also staked out the position and he tends to do a 180 when Biden does something, or do you think he no, has another the, motive? No, he has one motive. It's been written about. The, one of the investors in ByteDance, which is owner of TikTok, is one of his big donors. So. And so that's all it takes? Yes, that is all it's it takes usually, with Donald Trump. I don't know if you've noticed. It usually feels like with Donald Trump, like it's not like, uh, like you you only need like one piece of yarn, yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah, Like it's not like that like detective yeah. who's like this, this, this. Yeah. It's like, nope. <laughs> it's like, like money, one yarn, it's, money. It, it's, <laughs> that's it, that's it. Yeah. You know, and they and now they've got Kelly and Conway working, you know, yeah. possibly, and they're lobbying for it, and they're tr TikTok's trying really hard to prevent this, but it's happening. They, you do think it'll happen? A hundred percent. Obviously, we have another election coming up. We know about how uh, people have used tech to influence elections. Donald Trump has Truth Social. Mm -hmm. Is in your mind, do you think Truth Social will be a player in the election? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, I do yeah. not. Yeah. It is yeah. not. <laughs> You did not at all. No, no. It's you know they've had troubles. They've been investigated all stuff. It's not a business. It's just ridiculous. Do you think he will have? Will he will make some money off Truth Social? Is there a future where? Because he does. I mean, again, the man does well, tend to land on his feet more than you would think. It, it's like the Trump water of technology. I don't know okay, what to right. say. It's just not a business. Trump he, water. It, you should have given it, it a delicious. chance. It was delicious. It was delicious. <laughs> I mean, but yes. Did you play it premium? Yes, yes. But it was good water. Yeah. <laughs> I, don't oh, I don't know what to say. Um, you, you, it's not a business. It's not. It's not a business. I, I'd be surprised if they had any revenues. It's, it's, it's just not a business, and it's just run by really... They're suing each other. They're all suing each other. It's just a joke. But everything he gets done gets put on, on X or Twitter. I call yeah. it Twitter. I'm not calling it X. I don't yeah. feel it. I appreciate that. I have a hard time switching to the um, you know, we, we, I, we got a chance to talk uh, this past summer, and I asked you a question that I want to ask you again. I'm always so impressed because you've written so honestly about mm -hmm. uh, tech, the people in tech, uh, some you're impressed with, others you were previously impressed with. You tend to speak very plainly mm -hmm. about when they misbehave, yeah. and yet they all do seem to still talk to you. Yes. What do you attribute that to? Uh, Mark Andreessen called it Stockholm Syndrome. But, <laughs> um, but um, you know, I think smart people like being asked smart questions. I don't think they love talking points. I knew them before. I had a really lively uh, event with Mark Cuban yesterday. We had a great time. We argued quite a bit in front of people, but I, he likes it because he's a smart guy. What happens, what happens is people that become sort of, they get licked up and down all day, which is what happens to rich people. I don't know if you know this, yeah. but it occurs. Um, they, they sort of get used to that, and I am not like that. And so uh, they get upset at me. Some of them who are more insecure get upset at me. Well, it's wonderful for us that uh, they continue to talk to you because yes, they're always they lively conversations. There's some amazing entrepreneurs coming uh, around climate change tech, health tech, all kinds of things, including I just did an interview with uh, Steve Jobs' son. Well, that's very exciting. Yeah. Uh, the book's fantastic. Your Thank podcasts you. are great. It's so wonderful to see you as Thank always. Kara Swisher, everybody. Burn book is available now. We'll be right back with more Late Night.